Hello everybody, I'm Gamester522 and welcome back to more Mega Man Legends. In the last video, we defeated the pirates at Lake June and we even did the Lake Ruins, as well as beat the giant yellow reaver bot that almost killed me. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk to Roll. I don't believe it, Mega Man. It's a red refractor. With this, we should be able to repair the flutter. Hooray! Let's go, Mega Man, let's go fix the flutter. Hope I'm not getting a cold. Mega Man, could you take care of the refractor? Okay. In you go. Finished. It's ready. Okay, I'm all done here too. I'm going to fire up the engine, Mega Man. You grab that blue lever there. Gotcha. This one, right? Yep, on my mark. Ready. Cell switch on. Refractor rotation speed increasing. Engine field generation at 80%. Safety lock check. Initiating countdown. Three, two, one. Mega Man, now! Here goes. Metastatic field operational. Pair production active. Come on, fly. We're flying! Want to start a dig at the cave, and I'll take you there any time. Wow, so we're inside of the flutter now. Awesome. Okay then. All right, roll. How you doing? This place looks nice and fancy. Okay then. Oh, there's a fridge. You found a soft drink. You feel refreshed. Oh, hi, Mega Man. Amelia asked me to find out what I could about the treasure that's supposed to be buried here. This island's just, uh, just got so many mysteries, I don't know where to start looking. Mega Man, have you ever heard of the main gate? No, I haven't. The largest ruins on the island is called the main gate and can be found near the old city. What's unusual about it is that as far as anyone knows, there's no way to get inside. I have a theory that that is connected in some way to with the subgates. Tell me, Mega Man, have you found a passage to the subgates that connect to the main gate? No. If I'm right, the subgate in the closer woods is some kind of key for the main gate, and I'm willing to bet anything the, the treasure those pirates were after is inside the main gate. They probably realized how close they are, and we are, getting to the treasure. Don't lay your guard down. Man, this big treasure, the main gate, boy, is anyone else excited? Am I right? Now if we come into, si in, into Gramps' room here, if we check this chest, we actually get a bomb schematic. Now let's go inside our room, the red one. Okay, if we check this, it's a first aid box. You don't really need it as long as data's around. Well, yeah, that's kind of true. And I thought there was something else more in here. Oh, cool. Awesome friggin' grandfather clock for my birthday, am I right? Who wouldn't want that? Okay then, um... Alright. I think I know what we need to do next. Eh. Get out of my way. Hey, Roll. There. She's finally fixed. 
Well, it's not 100% fixed, but we should be able to get around the island. She'll be able to take us to the other subgates, or the closer woods. Let's go ahead and go to the R&D room real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and go to item development since we found that bomb schematic. Ta-da! The bomb schematic was used to make the Grand Grenade. This is another arm-mounted weapon. It allows you to shoot out even more stronger grenade bombs. They're really powerful. You might even be able to use it to blow up walls inside the ruins. Now that may sound like it may blow up some walls, but it literally means some. So let's go ahead and take a look at it here. There we go, the Grand Grenade. Now, you notice looking at the stats at its start, it's really low. That's because the power and range of the explosions this thing gives is goddamn obnoxious. This thing is kind of like in the high mid-ish range with regards to the amount of zinni it takes to max it out. The stats are all there, you guys see it, yada yada yada. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and take the support car from the flutter. Really nice feature they put in. Let's go ahead and go to downtown because I want to look at those buster parts again. Okay, so... Uh, where's South? Here we go. Also, I might need to look up something in a second, because I'm kind of getting tired of walking around. You guys will understand what I mean in a minute. But anyway... Let's see what you got. Um... Okay, nothing in the items. Just wanted to check. Okay, so we got the sniper range and the turbo battery. So I think I'm gonna pick both of those up. Cause God knows what level of versatility I'm probably gonna need. I think I'll put on the turbo battery. It may be completely close range, but I can fire consistently at a really good amount. No, screw you. Anyway. I think that's it. Okay, yes. I'm gonna look up something real quick, so I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I'm back. So there has some there is something that has been bothering me this whole time, and that is there should be an equipable a piece of equipable equipment. A piece of equipment. I don't know why I couldn't have just said that. I'd add another word to make it sound like it makes sense, but no, it makes me sound like a retard. Anyway, there is something that I that I've been missing for a while, and that's because we need to go in back down into the main ruins. And we'll go in this first door. Because we didn't come in here earlier because we, well, we couldn't do anything. There's another cracked wall right there. The Grand Grenade will not blow that wall up. So I'm not blowing up walls yet until I get a certain sub-weapon. Attack power maxed out. I can literally wreck these guys. Okay, so... Yeah. As you can tell, we probably need, we needed the high jump in order to get up here. So I can continue exploring. Now apparently there's a there's a little there's a little piece a little item for item development that I kind of missed that's in this place. Found a Buster unit. All right, it's a new Buster part. Can't say no to that. Now, okay, yeah, that one's a trap. I knew one of these was a trap. I just couldn't remember which one. I don't want to, okay, I need to keep like a mental note of where I'm at right now because there's so many doorways in this room that I usually get confused as to which way's the way out. So let's not let that happen, shall we? Okay, so... Some worms in here. No big deal. Oh, you guys see these little guys right here? They drop a shit ton of zenny. You kill these guys, they drop between 500 and 1,000. 
kind of crazy. Speaking of a lot of zenny, if we check these holes here, this one right here on the upper right, we get 9,240. That is a lot. Another 500 right there. At least that's what I think the conversion is. And there's another 820. Now then, if we go ahead and go down here, there's another pathway right there, but if you come over this way, this doorway, if we go through it, actually leads us to the ruins that we were first in. It actually leads us back here, where we got our yellow refractor. But since we don't need to come back this way, we just, we're mainly more focused here on the main ruins. Because hell, we like exploring. That's how we roll in 100% runs. So let's go over here. We open this chest. We get the roller board. This is what I've been looking for. There are some other rooms we can explore. So I guess we might as well do that and get it out of the way. Ow, you pieces of turds. Get wrecked, both of you. Give me your 2,000 zenny. Yeah, those those little white guys, you know, going uh, end up being in Mega Legends too as well. Um, they freaking drop a shit ton of zenny. It's amazing. Whenever you kill one, it's so satisfying. Okay, so which way did I originally come from? I came from over here. So let's go ahead and take this top door right here. See where it takes us. Okay, got some little walking mine reaver bots here. Okay, this little pathway up there. Jump up here. Don't see me anything significant. It's clearly a ceiling of all things. Okay, so let's go this way. Yeah, this place just kind of starts getting convoluted at this point. Now you guys notice that we're now in a completely differently colored area. So let's go ahead and jump up here. Get this chest. 2,840 zen. Don't you dare fire your shit at me. There is like another door down here, I think. Yes, there is. Okay, let's take this downward door first. Oh, fuck. Ugh, I hate it when y'all do that. Freaking a-holes. Just like, let me just chill in this hallway. Can't do shit to me, haha. -ha. I'm spinning in place. So you'll run into me and get hurt. Fucking prick. Okay. Now you guys see these things here? These little, like, moving things? Do not touch these for any reason whatsoever because they will fucking drop you excuse my language but it's true the way I like to dodge them is really simple basically I kind of like have my ang I have my camera set to like this that way when they move forward I can just simply just press my strafe button to just walk sideways that's probably the easiest way of avoiding them oh shit oh fuck me I totally forgot about this guy yes there actually is a big uh, there actually is a big guy right here, just walking around, just freaking wrecking the place. Oh crap, and he turns around. Shit, shit, shit. I'm running, I'm running. Okay. Oh fuck, he has fucking missile arms. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. God, I'm cussing a lot. I don't normally do that. What the hell? Am I seeing that right? Is he literally slamming the ground with no arms? Yeah, that literally does not make any goddamn sense. Okay, he's dead. Yay. Crap ton of zen. Okay. Now, is there something here that's worth noting? Hmm. Um, check the walls carefully. I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Not 
anything over there. Okay then. Guess there's nothing else in here, just that big guy. Get you a good chunk of Zenny, so why not? Oh boy. Let's just mix and max. Let's just mix and match all this shit, why don't we? Okay, now clearly. Okay, so I haven't been down here yet. Let's go up here. Where does this take us? Oh, it just takes us up here. Okay. So then where does this door lead? God, he's taking mines. Oh, oh shit, shit. Ugh. Now I'm getting bombarded. Okay. So this just takes us back here. Okay, we went in this door. So this is probably the quickest way back so we can take that other path. We took the lower path in that one room, so let's take the upper path this time. this way I'm trying to I'm trying to like branch things out meaning that like if everything's like kind of like set up like a like think of like a tournament bracket for example I start at the I start at the top and I work my way down I start by taking one direction to the left and then I and then once I'm done at that end I go back and I take the other direction I did not take so we're up here we also got two of those moving metal Metal arrowheads of death, apparently. There's also a hole right here in the wall. And inside we got more zenny. 780 zenny to be exact. There's another hole right here. And inside we got more money. 4,520. Yes, please give me some help. I need it. Okay. Now my health's fully charged. Now this part might look a little intimidating, but don't let it fool you. It's actually really simple. Just do the same trick that I've been doing. Just don't get too close. This is probably like the limit. Do not cross where, as close as I am right now. Jesus. Okay. Okay then. Come on. Okay, I think we're good. We also got a green a-hole here. But because my attack power is maxed out, I can stagger them really easily, so I don't have to worry about getting jumped really bad. This is a long ramp down. I wonder how many feet underground I am in right now. Okay, so apparently there's another cracked wall. This appears to be a dead end with a chest, and inside the chest we got... Rapid fire barrel. I believe that is extremely important for something later. A certain special weapon. Okay, now let's go ahead and get out of here and take the other paths that we didn't take yet. Which, by the way, you can check your map, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay. Ah, shit. Okay. See, that's why you don't want to hit those things. That's how much life I lost. Mother effer. Are you kidding me? Run it, run. Fuck. Okay. I got greedy. All right, that's gonna be a lot of cutting. I'll see you guys back at that same spot. Don't worry, I'll have everything explored all the same. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Um, I'm back to do this bullshit again. So let's see if I can do it this time. Okay, okay. Okay, first try, good. Back to exploring where we were. We just got the rapid fire barrel. Now, there's one other direction that I haven't gone yet. That is back this way. 
Then we'll move down another path. Also, I don't know if I opened this chest already in the last video, but it has only 16... It has 1,620 zenny in it. I don't know if I had opened it already. So I went ahead and did it anyway, and just tell you guys what was in it. If it's just zenny. Oh, shit. Now we got these guys. What? I've never seen this before. How come you guys are not doing anything? Because normally you're supposed to hit these guys enough to make them flip over. Oh shit. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? Come on, give me what's in the hole. Shiny object. Okay, that's actually pretty important. Oh shit. You fucking with me. Okay. Stay calm. You got this. Okay. You're still upside down? Yes. Okay, fuck you. You want know to give me some life, you asshole? Thank you. There's another one. What is it with the freaking moving traps? Like, seriously. I think I already had a bad experience with them was enough. No game. I'm gonna throw more at you. Prick. I almost freaking ran into him, too. Um, okay. Well, there's another bustable wall right here. Grand Grenade could probably break that one. For those of you who have it. There's another set of broken walls. Ah, there's a chest over here. We found a pen light. Gotta be used to make something. Jesus Christ, so freaking gone on nine minutes. So if I subtract nine minutes, that means I'm at six. Okay, so so I pretty much got four minutes left based on my freaking uh, estimates with regards to with regards to like my editing when I fast forward. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Just gotta line myself up. Bam. Bam. Oh fuck, he's right there. Oh shit. Whoa, parkour dodge. Jesus Christ, I almost gave me a freaking heart attack. Okay. We're almost done here. Then we don't have to worry about this shit for a while. Okay, so now that we've got this whole spot explored, let's go ahead and head back this way. So we enter this room again. Actually, I'm going to come over here to friggin... Okay, they're not there. Um, actually, there's one right here. Because I'm going to restore my energy a bit by breaking these things. I need help. I need it. No. Wreck you. Okay, so we went down this way. We came from there. We entered that door. So now there's this pathway down here. Apparently it's already marked on my map for some reason. Oh yeah, this is that pathway that takes us back to that one place. Never mind. Hold on. Something I'm missing here. No, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at my map for a minute. I'm just trying to understand what's going on. Oh, yeah. There's a door right here we haven't gone through yet. Derp. It's apparently an exit, so... Get up to my face. Get out of my face. Um... Wait, what the hell is this over here? Oh, it's nothing. Okay. And 
and this just takes me back here. All right. So we're done exploring. We're done exploring the main rooms for right now. We won't be able to come back here until we're able to break those walls. Pretty much. So other than that, then we're good. We pretty much got mostly everything we could find. Especially the thing that I wanted to find in the first place. Assuming, of course, I died and had to go freaking get it again. Um, I'm going to have Roll call me. Or I'm going to call Roll. Bring her up here. Okay. So, time for finding out what the big hole was worth. Item development. Here we go. Ta-da! Bomb schematic. Okay. Because I died, I apparently didn't save that, so we already seen the grand grenade, yada, yada, yada. We already know about that. Okay. Zed Saber and Pen Light were used to make the blade arm. This is a short range arm mounted weapon. It's probably the best used when you get into trouble and are surrounded by enemies. Rollerboard and old hover jets were used to make the jet skates. Megman, I came up with something different again. Jet skates. With these, you'll be able to move a lot faster than you can by running. Just be careful you don't get hit by cars if you use them in the city. After equipping the jet skates, you can activate them by holding down the circle button. The jet skates will turn off if you release the circle button, or when you take damage from an enemy attack. You can also slide when you're using the jet skates. You can maneuver while skating by using the directional button. The rapid fire barrel was used to make the machine bus the mach the buster part machine gun. This buster part increases your firing range. I bet it'll help you out when you got to shoot a lot of enemies at once. So yeah. So the new weapon we get to look at. Uh wherever it is. Uh, here it is, the blade arm. Now, this is pretty much what you expect it. It's basically uh, an arm weapon that basically creates an energy sword that just kind of swings forward. I believe you can increase the range, which adds like a freaking uh, uh, dash from the sword. Like, you could swing it and it'll send like a shock wave in front of you. You know, kind of like what Link does whenever his health's full, whenever he swings his sword. But yeah. Um, I, I guess it is kind of expensive to max out as far as I can recall so there's that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take the support car back to uh, let's see okay I think we can just leave now okay Let's go ahead and head back in the flutter if I freaking can. Alright, but first, before we quit, I'm gonna go ahead and show this off. We got the jet skates. I love these things. We freaking... We freaking move and groove and all kinds of shit. Check it out. Check out that drift. Anyway. So, we can use these to actually move around a lot faster, so that's a good thing. Well, we've run out of time for this episode, so we're going to have to end it off here. Based on my editing records. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and recharge my life. And we're going to save, and I am so glad to be done with that. I won't be going back in there anytime soon, I'll tell you that much. And there we go. So, this has been a pretty long episode for me, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Till then, see you then.